right guys welcome back to liquid illusion tuesday slash thursday reviews now i know we haven't done this series in a long time but this is the longest lasting of all series we've done on the channel and i thought i'd bring it back because it, it it really was something I enjoyed a lot. It was something that I had passion towards doing and I thought we may as well do one since there's a lot of hype surrounding one big game out there. Yes, you probably guessed from the title unless you're a fucking illiterate arsehole. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. But if you are, you shouldn't be on here at all. You should not be on social media. Now, if you haven't guessed already, yes, we are talking about Fallout 4. Now, this game has had a shit ton of hype surrounding it ever since it was first announced now what i mean by shit ton is more than gta 5 way more than gta 5 this game had so so much hype and you know truly so well done i mean bethesda really has a name for itself on making games that get people hyped as fuck and i'm not gonna blame them their games are usually on point their games are really good and they do put quality and effort into their projects and we clearly saw that from Fallout 4. Now I've got some Fallout 4 gameplay in the background here, of course, you know, so I'm gonna put some fucking Call of Duty out, was I? Could have done that. Shit, I should have done that. Nah, but I'm joking. Um, Bethesda really, really do make a lot of good games and obviously Skyrim took it by sweeps fallout series after fallout 3 of course uh, fallout 2 was a different production company fallout 1 and 2 but fallout 3 just brought an entire new aspect to the fallout franchise and really did redefine it obviously for the first person aspect it just really did shine and i'm so happy that they actually took the time out to reimagine the whole franchise and bring it to us as it is right now because it really was a decent idea for them to do and it really did pay off in the end now i do have a few complaints about the game uh i have played it and i was going to upload some videos on it some walkthroughs some gameplays you know la di da just the standard liquid illusion shit but uh my computer is actually having a really bad issues at the moment and i think i'm just gonna have to end up reinstalling the operating system but I do have a few complaints and I think everybody is having the same complaints as me and that is there are a few glitches, there are a few technical errors that people are having, especially the frame rate issue. Uh, every time the frame rate goes above 60, the gameplay speeds up and every time it drops below 60, the gameplay slows down. Uh, you know, the talking mechanics and, you know, the words coming out after the person speaks and it's just over the place but honestly that did not put me off the game the game was amazing the maps amazing the map size is beautiful everything about the game just stands out so well that you really can't actually sit down and complain about a few technical issues that the game is having you know you can't surround your entire opinion on one section i it's it really is just breathtaking i mean you sit down and enjoy that nighttime scenery the morning time scenery the sunset everything about the game is stunning it just honestly does take the last bit of breath away from you and that is what Bethesda is honestly about and they did you know they gave that to us they actually achieved in serving us a plate full of gold sure it has a few pieces of bronze in it but you know if it's 95% gold and just 5% you know your bronze and your silver aspects hell I don't care because the game was spectacular the story is really compelling also like I said once the computer is fixed hopefully I'll be back into the game but I'm watching I'm continuing the game off, watching some walkthroughs, some gameplays, just to keep myself in the game. Out of 10, what would I give it? Definitely a solid 8. Definitely. I don't think I would give it anything more or anything less. It deserves D8 so much, you know. Alongside games like Metal Gear Solid 5 and GTA 5, this really does stand out as one of the best open world games that is probably going to hit the shelves within the next few years. Like I said, guys, I'm glad to be bringing Liquid Illusion Tuesday <clears throat> and slash Friday <laughs> reviews back to Liquid Illusion. I know it's Friday today, but hell, screw you. I mean, if you're fucking gonna nitpick shit, just don't watch my fucking videos. All right, nah. But no way. I do play with you guys. Um, I'm really happy that we've achieved 750 subs, and hopefully we can hit that 1K spot soon. It's been Salad, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.